Good evening, lights are coming on. Let me have you all stand up, please. Welcome to class. 60 minute version tonight. Sort of pranayama deep breathing, good for your lungs and your respiratory system. Go ahead and interlace your fingers, please, underneath the chin. Please keep a constant contact there. Knuckles stay glued to your chin. Focus is your eyes in the front mirror. And then start, please. Inhale, lift your elbows up to the ceiling. Keep your stomach sucked in. Chin is down, elbows up, full lungs. Exhale, drop your head back, open your mouth wide. Push the chin with your knuckles. Look all the way back. Let your shoulders relax. Bring your elbows forward and the elbows together. Touch. Inhale. Chin coming down again, slowly to parallel. Elbows up to the ceiling, stomach in, rib cage visible in the front mirror. Exhale, drop your head back, open your mouth wide, push the chin with your knuckles and look all the way back. Let your shoulders relax. Bring your elbows forward and the elbows touch. Inhale, chin comes down slowly. Elbows out, all the way up to the ceiling. Keep your stomach in, reaching up, lifting up tall. Exhale, drop your head back slowly. Keep the chest lifted. Eyes open, mouth open. Back straight, knees locked. Seat tight, elbows together. Inhale, chin comes down again slowly. Stretch your elbows up to the ceiling. Stomach in, rib cage visible. Keep inhaling more air. Exhale, drop your head back. Open your mouth wide. Push the chin with your knuckles. Look all the way back. Let your shoulders relax. Keep your back straight. Knees locked, elbows touch. Inhale. Chin coming down slowly again to parallel, elbows up to the ceiling, keep your stomach in, reaching up, exhale, drop your head back, open your mouth wide, push the chin with your knuckles and look all the way back, relax your shoulders, bring your elbows together, inhale, chin comes down slowly again to parallel, elbows out, all the way up to the ceiling, keep your stomach in, reaching up, exhale, Drop your head back slowly. Keep the chest lifted. Eyes open. Mouth open. Back straight. Look all the way back. Shoulders relax. Elbows touch. Inhale. Chin down slowly. Elbows up. Stomach in. Keep inhaling. Reaching up out of the waist. Lifting up tall. Exhale. Drop your head back slowly. Keep the chest lifted. Eyes open. Mouth open. Knees locked. Elbows come forward and the elbows together. Touch. Inhale. Chin down slowly. Again to parallel. Elbows reaching up to the ceiling. Keep your stomach in, reaching up. Exhale, drop your head back, open your mouth wide. Push the chin with your knuckles and look all the way back. Let your shoulders relax, bring your elbows together. Inhale, two more. Slow and low, long, deep breath. Elbows up, stomach in, keep inhaling, reaching up. Exhale, drop your head back, open your mouth wide. Make sure your back stays straight. Knees are locked, seat tight, shoulders relax, and then elbows together, touch. Inhale. This is the last one. Make it the slowest, the longest, the deepest breath. Keep inhaling, reaching up. Exhale, drop your head back. Open your mouth wide. Push the chin with your knuckles. Again, look all the way back. Let your shoulders relax, elbows together, and then relax your arms down. Focus in the mirror. Concentrate on yourself. Breathe in and out through your nose. Ardha Chandrasana, Chandrasana Half Moon Pose. Pose with Padastasana, hands to feet pose. Bring your arms over your head side. Interlace your fingers, please. Release your index fingers. Cross your thumbs. Inhale, stretch up. Stomach in. Full lungs. Bend your body right and left. Right and left. Right and left several times. Shoulders opening, hips opening, spine stretching. So reaching up, bending right, reaching up, bending left. Imagine that you're trying to touch the ceiling with your fingertips. Just drawing lines back and forth all the way, all the way from wall to wall several times. Fast or slow doesn't matter. Whatever feels right for you. Waking up, warming up your body. When you feel like you've stretched enough, come up please and stop in the middle. Feet together, toes, heels touching, knees locked, seat tight, nice firm foundation. Push your hips slightly forward, opening your hips and pelvis, upper body, lean back a couple of inches, opening your chest and your rib cage. Keep your chin up, neck visible to you in the mirror, elbows locked and keep the palms glued to the wrist. Stretch up again, stomach in, full lungs, absolutely straight line. Now bend your body to the right and push your hips to the left, straight line, come down and make sure that you're breathing. The most important thing you're gonna do for uh, 60 minutes tonight is breathing consciously, mindfully, in through the nose, out through the nose, keeping your arms back and your chin up. Never worry about how far down you're going or any depth in any of the postures. Just focus on your form and your breath. Listen to the instructions the best you can and stay with us the best you can. If you need a break, you take a break. Arms stay back, chin is lifted, elbows and knees locked out. Continuously keep pushing hips to the left side of the room. Beyond your flexibility, you should feel this inside out, all over bones to skin, fingertips to toes, left side of your body change. Come up, inhale, stretch up, stomach in, full lungs, now bend left side. Same thing in the other direction, knees and elbows locked out, seat tight, shoulders and hips should stay square to the mirror, which means your right hip may need to come slightly forward or your left shoulder forward to keep your both hips and both shoulders same distance from the mirror. 
Arms are back, chin is up, keep your stomach sucked in. Hips over heels, shoulders over hips, so your fingers are at the top. From the side, everything in a straight line. And again, your breath, the most important thing in and out through the nose. Keep your feet grounded, rooted, elbows locked, knees locked. Hips tight, stomach in, shoulders opening, hips opening, stretching the left side, you're pushing your hips over the right side, beyond your flexibility. Again, feel it inside out, bones to skin, fingers to toes, and then come down at the end, push your hips to the left or to the right, come down to the left, change, come up. Backward bending now, drop your head all the way back and let your neck relax. Completely look for the wall behind you. Look down the wall, try to see the floor if you can. Stretch up like you're trying to touch the ceiling. Arms back immediately. Draw that line with your fingers all the way back across the ceiling. Draw the line down the wall. Hip, stomach, thighs, everything forward toward the front mirror. Lift your chest up. Now bring your arms back, guys. Arms back, arms back, head back. Look back, all the way back. Hip, stomach, thighs, everything push forward. Chest up, head back, way back. Go back, more back. Change. Inhale, come up. Stretch up to the ceiling, suck in your stomach tight abs and bend forward, arms with your ears please, come all the way down, bend your knees and touch your fingers on the floor, separating your hands, drop your head all the way down, relax your neck and bend your knees right knee, left knee, right knee, left knee, if you keep your heels flat on the floor it works much more effectively, so heels flat, just bend the right knee, the left knee, the right knee, left knee, if you're bending both knees of course your heels are going to come up to squat down, so Terry let your heels stay flat on the floor and just bend your knees, let your neck relax here guys. Drop your head down. Go ahead and squat down a couple times if you like. Come up halfway. Stomach on your thighs and then grab your heels from behind. Step on your fingers. Wrap your elbows behind your calf muscles. Try to get your baby fingers pointing forward towards your toes. Baby fingers touching. All your fingers pointing forward toward the toes if you're able to. If not, just do the best you can with all the postures. Always the best you can the right way. Never worry about what you're not able to do. Lift your hips up. Drop your head down. Suck your stomach and push your knees back. You're trying to lock out the knees. Roll forward in your toes. Lift your hips up. Drop your head down, suck your stomach in, push your knees back, hamstrings, opening, stretching, feeling maybe a little pain sensation all up and down in the backs of your legs, you're feeling it inside out, all over, bones to skin with your smiling, happy face. Keep lifting your hips up, dropping your head down, pushing your knees back, try to lock those knees, lock your knees, change. Come up, arms with your ears, please keep your abs tight, stomach in all the way up. And then relax. Your arms just float back down side. Good evening. Welcome back to your body, back to your practice. Second set, we do about half as long. Keep the feet together, please. Arms over your head side. Interlace again the fingers. Release your index, cross your thumbs. Inhale, stretch up. Stomach in, full lungs. Bend to the right and push your hips to the left. Straight line, come down. Right back into the posture where you left off if you can, maybe a little deeper if you're open up more. And if not, just easing, guys, never forcing anything, just breathing calmly through your nose. Keep the left hip forward and your right shoulder forward. Arms stay back and chin is lifted. Try to lock out those elbows. Arms squeeze with your ears, stretching up to the right side and pushing hips to the left side. Make sure it is beyond your flexibility, beyond your comfort zone. And again, guys, that left hip forward. Right shoulder forward, everything squares to the mirror. Change, come up, stretch up, stomach in, full lungs, bend left side, same thing. 30 more seconds, guys, right back into it. Just come right down to your edge, wherever that may be, and hold it there. Keep pushing hips to the right side beyond your flexibility and stretch up, out, over to the left side. And bring your arms back, fingers point all the way back, left corner of the room, keeping your chin up, your neck visible to you so you can breathe better that way. Elbows locked, palms glued, chin up, fingers pointing back left corner, then push your hips to the right side, coming down a little bit more to the left, come down and push, and change, come up, backward bending once more, drop your head all the way back and let your neck relax completely, looking for the wall, looking down that wall, stretch up, hips, stomach, thighs, everything push forward, now arms back, arms back, head back, way back, draw the line a little bit further than you did the last time, try to touch what your eyes can see, look all the way back, head back, hips forward, tighten the glutes, chest up, now make sure you're breathing, chest up, head back, arms back, look back, go back, way back, more back, fall back, change, come up, stretch up to the ceiling, stomach in, tight abs, bend forward, arms and ears together, bend your knees, touch your fingers on the floor, 
And again, separate your hands, drop your head down, relax your neck, bend your knees, right knee, left knee, right knee, left knee, right knee, left knee, several times, you're opening up your hips, it's a U-turn, backward bend to forward bend, make sure lower spine is nice and loose, comfortable, easy, flexible, drop your head, guys, relax your neck, keep your stomach in, squat a couple times, and then come up halfway, grab your heels from behind, stepping again on the fingers, as best you can. Don't worry about what you're not able to do. Just always the best you can. Every day is different. Roll forward in your toes. Lift your hips up. Drop your head down. Suck your stomach in. Push your knees back. You're trying to lock the knees. So make sure your stomach is on your thighs. Your chest is on your knees. And then tuck your chin. See if you can bring your face a little bit closer to your shins or touch your face. Forehead on shins below the knees. Pulling on the heels continuously. Hamstrings opening. Hips opening. Spine stretching. 360 degree forward bending. Coccyx to your forehead. Coccyx to your toes, everything stretching, change. Come up, arms with your ears, please. Keep your abs tight, stomach in, and relax your arms downside. Awkward is next, Zukatasana. Right foot, step it out to the right. Six inch gap between your feet, toes and heels exactly parallel. Heels invisible in the mirror behind your toes. Arms come up in front of you with your elbows locked out. Tricep muscles engage, nothing loose in your arms, suck in your stomach, exhale. Bend your knees and sit down as if you were sitting into an imaginary chair. David, that's the weirdest sit down in a chair position I've ever seen. Focus on your breathing. Lift your chest up and suck your stomach in. Once you're there, you're all right. But getting into that was a little weird. Keep your arms strong and lift your chest up. Lean back, way back. Feel like you're about to fall over backwards, like you're pushing yourself away from the mirror. Knees, feet six inches apart. And make sure your heels are open. Change. Come up. Second part, come all the way up on the toes, maximum, like a ballerina dancer, don't even blink your eyes, you might lose your balance, stay on the toes, bend your knees and sit back in the chair, heels up, knees up, straight spine flat back, keep the hips forward, upper body back, heels up, knees up, don't let your hips go below the chair, but some of you, most of you need to sit down more, hips in the chair guys, heels in the air, lift those heels up, hips forward, spine straight, heels up, Heels up, heels up, change, relax your heels. Give your toes a little wiggle. For the third part, bring your knees together and squeeze your thighs, your heels come up just a little bit. Exhale, breathing, bend the knees, count 10 and slowly lower your hips down. Breathe through your nose, mouth is closed. Calm, slow breath, guys, you'll be much happier breathing through the nose. Try to keep those fingers together. Strong arms, strong abs, strong mind. Keep your eyes up too, please, in the mirror. Shoulders down, abs tight, try to go down, all the way down. All the way down, knees go down below the hips, upper body back, let your heels come up, spine straight position, thighs parallel to the floor, arms parallel to your thighs, dark, please don't sit down, your heels come up a little bit, arms strong, abs tight, change, come up slowly guys, slowly, knees together, knees together, knees together, all the way up, and right foot step back to your left foot. And let your arms relax, be still in between, concentrate, meditate. Second set, your right foot steps back out into the footprint that you created in the first set. Feet are parallel, arms up in front. Elbows lock them, triceps engage them. Suck your stomach in, exhale, bend your knees, sit in the chair. Boom, hips down, guys, sit, sit, sit. Upper body lean back, toes in, heels open, keep all of your weight in your heels. Feel like you're about to fall down backwards. Don't lift your toes up to prove it. Just know that your toes are on the floor, but the weight's in your heels. Knees open, heels open, toes in, stomach in, suck it in, tighten it up, contraction of your abdominal muscles, compression of your abdominal wall. Change, come up, on the toes, maximum right away. Tippy toes like a ballerina, like I'm pulling your hair to the ceiling. Don't blink your eyes. Stay on the toes. Bend your knees. Sit in the chair. Heels up. Knees up. Straight spine, flat back. On the toes, guys. Heels up. Spine straight, flat back. Tippy toes. Now knees to six inch gap. Focus on the breathing. Heels up. Knees up. Hips forward, ladies. Upper body back. Heels up. Heels up. Heels up. Change. Come up. Relax your heels. Give your toes a wiggle. Third part. You bring your knees together. Squeeze your thighs. Heels come up just a little bit. Exhale. Bend the knees. Count ten again. Slowly lower your hips down. So let your heels come up just a little bit and lower your hips down. Straight spine. Flat back. Come down as much as you can. If your knees are screaming at you, stop. But if not, go all the way down, all the way down, all the way down until your hips are about a half an inch from the heels. That's it, Kelly. Keep the knees down and forward. Spine straight. Shoulders relaxed. Fingers together strong toward the mirror. Abs are tight, stomach in, squeeze your thighs, inhale and change slowly, coming back up to center, right foot back to your left foot, and arms down side. Eagle pose, Garasana is next, feet are together, bring your arms over your head sideways, touch palms together, remember which is right, please, which is left, don't mix them up, swing your right arm onto your left arm, cross at your elbows, twist at your wrists, hands, palms together with your thumbs towards your face, pull your elbows down, stomach in, exhale, bend your knees, sit down, Right leg, hide your can over your left thigh, cross your legs, twist them like they're wet, slippery ropes, and wrap your foot 
or point your toes behind the calf muscles, upper body leaning back, and then bring your knees to the right, upper body left, let your face relax. Calm and slow deep breathing, knees to the right, guys. Hands, palms, wrists, elbows, knees, ankles, feet, everything in one line. Down the center, lean your upper body back, change. Arms up over your head. Swing your left now under the right, cross your elbows, twist your wrists, hands, palms together. Thumbs are facing you. Exhale, bend your knees, sit in the chair. Left leg this time. High as you can over the right thigh. Cross your legs, twist them like the ropes. Wrap your foot and point your toes. Terry, switch your arms. Upper body lean back. Stomach in, stomach in. Sit all the way down. I don't know if you did the wrong one the first time. That's all right. And then lean your upper body back. Knees to the left. Upper body right. Shoulders even, hips even. Everything again. In the center, lean back. Change. Arms up over your head. We do it again. Right under left. Cross elbows, twist wrists. Hands, palms together. Thumbs towards your face. Baby fingers toward the mirror. Pull the elbows down. Stomach in. Exhale. Bend your knees. Sit in the chair again. Right leg high as you can over your left thigh. Cross your legs. Twist like rope. Squeeze your thighs. And wrap your toes. You're pointing in that direction, guys. Doing the right way the best you can. Don't worry about how far you go. You'll get there eventually. Just be patient with yourself. Always try the right way. Make sure you're breathing. Shoulders even, hips even, then work on that alignment. Wrists, elbows, knees, ankles in the center. Lean back, change. Arms up over your head. And second set, left arm under right arm. Cross your elbows, twist your wrists, hands, palms together, thumbs again facing you. Exhale, bend the knees, sit down, and left leg. High as you can over the right thigh. Cross your legs, twist like rope, squeeze your thighs and wrap your toes, or point again in that direction, just the best you can, guys. Knees come back to the left, upper body right, shoulders even, hips even, hands in the middle, bring your hands right in front of your face, upper body lean back, pull your elbows down, stomach in, lean back, change, arms up over your head. Relax your arms down, it's party time, guys, if you'd like a little water, have a sip. Never drink too much or too fast, calm and slow deep breath. If you don't need the water, it's better just to pass on it, guys, until you need it. And then just take a little sip when you need one from this point forward. Going forward, two sets finished before we drink. Try to keep that in mind. And next three postures, balancing series, concentration series. Dande Mana Janya Shrasana, standing head to knee pose. Shift your body weight to your left foot, right thigh, lift up. Keep your stomach sucked in, round over your thigh, grab your foot. All ten fingers, interlace position, three inches below the toes, which will bring your thumbs right under the crease of your toes. So don't grab the arch of the foot. Grab the ball of your foot, not your heel. Looking forward up in the mirror, guys. Keep your eyes up, chin up, stomach in, right thigh a little bit parallel, maybe higher, a little lower. Just keeping your eyes up. A little higher is actually better than a little lower. Left knee, though, solid, concrete, one-piece, unbroken. Lamp pose, plant the big toe of your left foot and help you. That will help you keep your body weight stabilized, front to back and side to side. If you're ready to go further, inhale. Right leg lift up, gently kick your foot forward toward the mirror. Bring your foot exactly parallel to the floor, no higher and no lower. So even if your knee is bending, guys, just lift your chest up, leg up until your heel is in line with your hip, and then come forward from your hip. you got to kick through your heel. Left knee should be locked, solid one piece unbroken, lamp post, no knee. If your knee is bending, your posture hasn't started yet. Change. Feet together. Relax your arms, focus in the mirror, shift your weight to your right foot, and lift your left thigh down. Keep your stomach in. Go ahead, round over that thigh, grab your left foot. All ten fingers, interlace position of the webbing, lock your right knee, lock it solid. Concrete, one piece, unbroken lamp post, no knee, and focus on your standing knee in the mirror. Eyes up, don't look at the floor. Concentration through your breath, stomach in, stomach in. If your knee is locked and you're ready, go ahead, left leg now, lift up gently toward the mirror, bring your foot exactly up to parallel. Whether your knee's bending or not, standing knee should not be bending, kicking leg can bend for a while until you lock your kicking leg, then when your both knees lock out, bend your elbows down, flex your foot back in toward your face. You want to feel that stretch in the Achilles tendon, heel forward, toes back, keep the grip as well, all ten fingers, interlace below your toes, elbows touch the calf muscles, eventually your elbows will go below the calf muscles, if you can still balance there, tuck your chin to your chest, bring your forehead to your knee, change, feet together, and your arms relax, optional back bend if you like, hands, palms on your lower spine, thumbs on the outside, hips push forward, chest lifts up, eyes look back, mouth closed, breathing through the nose. Second set, about half the time, feet are together, shift your weight again, left foot, lift your right thigh up, everybody together please, stomach in, round over your thigh, grab your foot, we'll start counting 30 seconds when you all have your foot in your hand, so don't hold everybody up, 
lock your standing knee and kick when you're ready. Right leg lift up, but make sure that left knee's locked. Or if it bends, push it back, lock it out again. Heel forward, toes back, and then you got to kick, guys. Keep kicking from your hip. Come forward more. Heel forward, toes back. Both knees locked. Bend your elbows down. Flex the foot back in towards your face. Heel forward, toes back. Make sure you're breathing, guys. Most important thing is always the breath. Then that standing knee locked solid. One piece unbroken. Change. Feet together. Arms down side, calm breath, shift the weight to your right foot. Now your left thigh, lift it up. Keep your stomach sucked in, round over the thigh, grab your left foot, all ten fingers again. Interlace them to the webbing beneath your toes, eyes are up, stomach in, kick when you're ready. Left leg now, lift up, gently toward the mirror, bring your foot exactly parallel. Making sure again that right knee stays locked out, guys. Heel forward, toes back, bring your foot right in line with your hips. So keep coming up a little bit, Dustin, a little bit higher, guys. Heel right up in line with your hip, even though your knee is bending. If your knee is not bending, both knees locked, then bend your elbows down, flex your foot back in towards your face. You've got to feel that stretch in your Achilles tendon above the heel. Toes curl back, stomach suck it in, elbows down, tuck your chin, forehead to your left knee. Change. Come out step by step, guys. And then do another backward bend if you like. The next posture we do is backward bending, Dandi Amana Dandirasana, standing bow, pulling bows. So once again, the feet start together, toes, heels touching. Bring your right hand up in front of you like you're asking someone for money. Swing your hand out to the right side. Bend your right knee and pick your foot up from the inside so you're holding at the ankle joint, not your toes, not the arch of your foot, but at the ankle joint, and then your left arm up to the ceiling, palm facing forward toward the mirror, stretch up, and charge your body forward as you kick your right foot back and up. There is no hurry. Just kick a little bit. Stretch a little bit. When you're ready, kick a little more and stretch a little bit more. Make sure it's equal and simultaneous. Also, I see a lot of knees going out to the sides like chicken wings. Drop your knee right below the hip and your foot right above your knee. So straight line back and up. So just drop your knee in a little bit below your hip. And then your foot coming right up over your head in the mirror. Keep those eyes up, looking in the mirror. Left arm stretch up and out. Right foot kick back and up again. It's equal and simultaneous. Try not to bend your elbow at all. Just kick in your hand. Right shoulder is going to disappear behind your head. It should feel as if your scapula. Shoulder blade is going to come right away from your deltoid. We've never seen that happen. So just keep kicking back, kicking up. Body down. Focus in the mirror. Keep your eyes level. Body down. Kick. Change. Feet together and your arms relax. So just be still for a moment, guys. Eyes are up and arms down side, calm, slow deep breath, relaxing. Yeah, breathing too, guys, most important thing. Left hand, bring it up, swing it out. Bend that left knee, pick your foot up. From the inside, hold right at your ankle joint, knees together to start. Bring your right arm up. Palm is gonna face this front mirror, stretch up, charge your body forward as you kick your left foot now, back and up behind you. 60 seconds, guys. Focus on the breathing. Concentrate on your standing right knee. Right knee solid, concrete. No bend, no wobble in your knee. Eyes are up, kicking back, straight line. Again, watch the knee below the hip, then the foot above the knee. Your left shoulder this time dro dropping behind you. Feel it pulling back. Don't force it and don't restrain it. Just kick into the hand and let your right shoulder come forward. Left shoulder drop back and keep your eyes up, chin up, eyes level, look in the mirror. Concentrate on yourself, eyes level, Lily. keep your eyes up. Focus on the breathing, guys. Kicking back, stretching forward, bodies coming down. Looking for those toes to come up over the center of your head in the mirror. So you got to look in the mirror, guys. Change. Feet together and your arms relaxed. Calm, slow breath. Once again, just be still. Eyes up, arms down, feet together. And the second set, it's about half the time. Right hand up. Go ahead and swing it out. Bend your right knee again. Pick that foot up. Inside ankle. Knees together to start. Left arm up. Palm is going to face this front mirror. Stretch up. Charge your body forward. Kick your foot back. But lock that left knee. Left knee bending. Posture hasn't started. Lock your knee, guys. Lock it again and again. And don't push it back and relax it. That's the worst thing you can do. It's better to have it bent a little bit. But make sure you're locking the knee by engaging quadricep muscles. Kneecap pulls up. Then you've got that solid foundation. You're making a stronger leg, a healthier knee joint. Body down. Point your toes. Kick back. Stretch forward. Body down. Body down. Body down. Change. Feet together. Arms relax, eyes are up, calm and slow deep breath, one more left hand. Bring it up, swing it out, bend the left knee, pick your foot up, inside, ankle, joint, knees together, right arm stretch up. Bring your arm right back next to your ear, straight up to the ceiling, stretch up, 
and kick your left foot now back and up. Keep your right arm up, guys. Way up high, up high, up high to the ceiling, up toward the top of the mirror as you come forward. In other words, don't let your arm come down unless your body's all the way coming down to parallel, and then still your fingertips would touch your eyebrow. In the mirror, body down, kick back and kick up. Make sure you're breathing, locking that right knee again. Don't let it relax. Kicking back, quads engaged, kneecap pulls up, left foot disappears, comes up over the top of your head right in the center. Change. Feet together. Arms relaxed up to the back of your mat, please. To a Dandasana, balancing stick pose, 10 second posture, all the way back of your mat. Feet together. Toes, heels touching. Everybody together. Arms over your head side. Interlace your fingers, release your index fingers and cross your thumbs. Right foot, big step forward. Lock your both knees, point your left toes, body down to parallel, left leg back and up. So everything straight line until you look like a capital letter T from the side. If you don't look like a T, keep the straight line from your fingertips to the toes and bring your leg up more, leg up more, leg up more. That'll bring your body down more. Change. Step back. Make sure you're breathing here, guys. Stretch up again. Left foot now. Big step forward. Lock your both knees. Point your right toes. Body down to parallel. Right leg back and up. So everything straight line. Only come down as much as your leg is coming up. Just look four feet on the floor in front of you. Body down parallel. Eyes up, guys. Look forward, not down at your mat, in front of your mat, or look for your big toe in the mirror. Change. Step back. Feet together, relax your arms down for a moment. Calm, slow breath, guys. Eyes up, arms down. Be still, breathe deeply. Yes, your heart is racing a little bit. Take control of your breath. Inhale slowly, exhale even more slowly through your nose. Second set, arms up. Interlace the fingers, release your index, cross your thumbs. Right foot step, big step. Lock your both knees, point your left toes, body down to parallel as your left leg comes back and up again. Everything in a straight line, fingertips to your toes, touch the front mirror, kick the back wall. It is a natural human traction or a tug of war. Change, step back, inhale, stretch up. One more, guys, left foot now, big step. Lock your both knees, point your right toes, body comes down, right leg back and up. Everything in a straight line. Fingers to toes. Don't worry about what you're not able to do. Just do what you can. Locking the knees, pointing the toes. Keep that right hip down, shin forward, arms up, body down, leg up, chain. Step back, feet together, and relax your arms. Please turn to your left. Separate leg stretching series, Dandemana, Vivakthapada, Paschimottanasana, standing separate leg head to floor pose, left side of your mat. Feet are together, everybody together. Please, arms up over your head side. Touch your palms together. Take a big step to the right. Four foot minimum. Arms come down parallel to the floor. Right as you step out. Arms down. Toes in, heels out. Hips forward, shoulders back. Stomach in. Now bend forward, flat back. Keep your chin up. Look forward toward the mirror, guys. All the way down so you can't see the mirror anymore. Then reaching around, you grab your heels or grab the sides of your feet. Step on your fingers. If you're unable to grab your heels or the sides of your feet, grab your big toes. Push your knees all the way back. Don't look behind you. Keep your eyes forward, chin forward, and reaching down with your forehead. You're trying to touch your forehead to the floor in between your toes. So bring your thumbs on the outside. All five fingers together. Work on locking those knees first, guys. Hamstring stretching. Pain sensation all up and down the backs of legs. Breathe. Chin forward, Kelly, look at the front edge of your mat, front edge of your mat, all the way flat back. Chin forward, straight spine, elbows in toward your shins, and roll forward in your toes. Bend the elbows in, easing down to get your forehead on the floor, guys, in between your toes. Change and come up with a straight spine, flat back, out of sight. Turn your right toes out toward the front for triangle. Trikonasana, bend your right knee and sit down. Right thigh parallel to the floor. So your heel exactly below your knee. Make sure you step out wide enough, guys. Heel below the knee, upside down, L. Hips forward, shoulders back, spine straight, lean back, palms to the mirror, just the arms. Turn to the right, bring your elbow inside of that right knee, no lower. Chin to your left shoulder, you may touch the fingers in between the big and second toe, let your toes relax. Reach up with your left arm, reach down with your right. Use your right elbow to push your right knee back, opening up your right side hip and pelvis. Keep your left knee locked and your left foot flat, that left hip down, guys, left arm stretch up and then upper body, turn and twist back. Change. Come up. Turn your right toes in. Turn your left toes out. Bend your left knee and sit down again. Left thigh parallel. Same thing, guys. Just the other side. Sit all the way down. Make sure, again, that heel is exactly below your knee. Hips forward, shoulders back, spine straight. Lean your upper body back. Palms to the mirror. Just turn the arms. Bring your elbow inside of your left knee and no lower. Chin to your right shoulder. Look up past your thumb. So that means your left ear tw turns toward the mirror. And you use your left elbow to push the knee back opening up your left side hip and pelvis, stretching up and down in opposite directions. So try not to rest on the floor, lift up your heart, lift your arm up, stretch up like you're trying to touch the ceiling, change, come up, 
Straightening out the left knee, left foot forward, then arms come up overhead. Flat palms together, cross only your thumbs, turn on your heels and face the front. Bring your feet to just 36 inches as you turn, guys. Left hip forward, one, two, three, four, five times. So now you got yardstick distance between your heels, heels in the same line, back foot 45 degrees, a little bit bigger step. Inhale, stretch up. Suck in your stomach, tuck your chin, round in, curl in, curl in, curl in. Bring your forehead to your knee, bend your knee as much as you need to, separating your hands on the floor. Also, if and when, as much as you need to, bring your forehead all the way up on your knee, on your knee, head on your knee, guys. Head to knee pose, it's the name of the posture. Keep your stomach sucked in, push the knee back gently, right hip up more toward the ceiling, left hip pull down and forward, change and come up. Facing the front, palms together, please, all the way up, head comes up last. Turn to your left, turn again, face the back wall, bring your right hip forward, one, two, three, four, five times, heels in one line. Please turn your right toes in about 45 degree angle, Really bigger step again, a little bit bigger step for you, Terry. Stretch up a little bit smaller step down. You got to bring your feet this way. You got your feet crossed. Your right foot this way. Bring it this way. The back foot, yeah. Heels on the same line, guys. Turn your right toes in, Kelly. Stretch up, stomach in, tuck your chin, and then round and curl and curl and look for your belly button. Forehead to your knee. Bend the left knee as much as you need to. Separating your hands is fine, guys. As much as necessary. Just make sure your forehead forehead not your nose not your eyebrows not your cheekbone or your temple not nearly or almost but your forehead touching your knee guys keep your stomach sucked in and then gently push the knee back try to bring your fingers out in front of your toes just the fingertips pushing into the floor so your palms flat fingertips push into the floor bring your forehead up higher stomach in left hip up right hip down and change keep your chin tucked palms together face that blue wall all the way up turn right feet back together and now relax your arms for a moment be still you can drink your water if you need it otherwise don't move be still just breathe focus concentrate we do the second set of the same three postures arms over your head sideways palms together big step out to the right four feet or wider if you didn't touch your forehead a little bit smaller maybe if you did touch arms down parallel toes and heels out hips forward shoulders back stomach in and bend forward again flat back reaching around grab your heels sides of your feet your big toes Step on your fingers and then work on locking those knees, guys. You got to lock your knees first. Hamstrings opening, hips opening, spine stretching, 360, forward bending, coccyx to forehead, coccyx to toes. Again, everything stretching with your legs separated. It's a different dynamic than the head to or hands to feet pose. But you're still trying to get your forehead way down there to touch the floor in between your toes. So roll forward, bend your elbows in, lock those knees, and elbows in, stomach in, shin forward, change, come up with a straight spine, flat back, keep your arms strong right toes turn them out again to the front mirror triangle pose bend the right knee and sit down right thigh parallel heel below your knee make sure the heels are in the same line guys look over your right shoulder in the mirror and line up your heels and then hips down all the way hips in line with your right knee so heels in a line hips in line with the knee upper body back palms to the mirror turn the arms to the right bring your elbow inside the right knee and no lower chin your left shoulder now you're looking up past your thumb to the ceiling stretching your two arms each other in opposite directions like a natural traction some of you need to turn your head more look up to the ceiling past your thumb and turn your right ear more toward the mirror so the profile of your face is visible if your chin is not touching your shoulder bring your shoulder over to meet your chin and touch the two together change come up straighten the right knee right foot forward left toes out bend your left knee and sit down left thigh parallel heel below the knee hips forward shoulders back upper body lean back palms to the mirror it's gonna sit guys and turn the arms gotta get those hips down hips down and then elbow just at the knee joint. Don't let your elbow go any below the knee. It shouldn't be any higher than your knee either. Use your elbow to push the knee back, opening up your left side, different pelvis, left knee locked. Sorry, right knee locked. Right foot flat on the floor, right arm stretch up, left arm stretch down. Two arms stretching in opposite directions, left ear more toward the mirror profile of your face, visible change. Come up, straightening out the left knee, left foot forward, arms overhead, flat palms, cross your other thumb on top, turn and face the front. 36 inches guys yardstick distance make sure those heels are on the same line back foot turns in 45 stretch up stomach in tuck your chin round and curl and curl and bring your forehead to your knee bend your knee as much as you need to separate your hands on the floor if you need to locking out your elbows again guys don't put your palms flat on the floor if your forehead's not on your knee just push the floor away with your fingertips and suck your stomach in more to bring your forehead higher on your knee joint and push the knee back gently try to lock the knee a couple times right hip up left hip pull down change and come up keep your chin tucked palms together please all the way face the front turn left pivot on your heels turn again face the back wall please maintain that 36 inches between your heels right hip forward one two three four five times stretch up 
stomach in, tuck your chin, round in, curl in, curl in. Looking again for your belly button, forehead to touch the knee joint. Put your forehead on your knee and gently push the knee back. Left hip up more toward the ceiling. Allison, you really got to twist those hips. Left hip up, right hip pull down and forward, guys. Keep your stomach in, stomach in, stomach in. Then work your hands a little bit closer when you're ready and try to lock your knee a couple of times. Change and come up. Keep your chin tucked. Palms together facing that back wall, guys. Don't turn until you're all the way up and then we all turn to the right. Feet back together and arms down side. Now turn again. Face the front mirrors. Bring yourself back to present or back to center, staying present hopefully the whole time. For tree pose, Tadasana with toe stand, Padang Gustasana. We'll go right from the tree into the toe stand. You can stay in the tree pose if you need to. Pick up your right foot, place your heel on your left thigh, bring it as high as you can and as close to the center line of your body as possible and ease your right knee down and back gently. Hips are forward, shoulders back, different triangle or different tree pose, holding it from the back side with your left hand and your toes. Right hand comes up in front of your heart namaskar position. If your foot remains, you are welcome to bring your left hand up to meet the right hand. Focus here for a moment. Hips forward, shoulders back, stomach in. This is the tree pose. For toe stand, bring your both hands up. If your foot slips a little bit, it's okay. And bend forward, touch the floor first. Shift your weight into your fingers and bend your knees. Sit down on your heel. If you're not sure you can do it, just come down, touch your hands on the floor. It's a really good place to start with your hips opening. If you're all the way on your heel, hands come around next to your hips for balance, eyes on the floor, four feet in front of you, and just gently ease your knees down. Upper body back, head and chest stretch up. Keep your stomach sucked in. Dar, you want to walk your hands forward about five inches. And right there next to your toes, bring your left knee up a little bit, right knee down a little bit. Keep your stomach sucked in. Left hand always first. Right hand may follow right up in front of your heart, guys. Namaskar position, head and chest stretching up. Stomach in, stomach in. Never worry about what you're not able to do. You're doing great, guys. Toe stand. Please come up and join the folks in tree pose. In tree pose, just hang out for another moment. Breathe away till everybody's out. And then relax. The right leg down. Pick your left foot up. It's the last one, guys. Nice long break right after this. Bring your heel on your thigh where it's comfortable, high as you can, close to the center line of the body as possible, left hand up in front of your heart, namaskar, tree pose, use the knee down the back, right hand may join the left hand if your foot doesn't slip. Holding this for a moment, being still and breathing, eyes up in the mirror, concentrate on yourself, focus one point. For the toe stand, both your hands come up, bend the body forward, even if your foot slips a little bit, touch the floor first, shift the weight in your fingers, and then you bend the knee, sit down on your heel, let your foot come all the way up to perpendicular, and sit on your heel. Hands come around next to your hips for balance, eyes on the floor, one spot, four feet in front of you, head and chest stretching out, so don't look in the mirror, dark. Eyes on the floor, hands right next to your hips, and the spine straight, you're leaning way back again. Stomach in, you gotta really suck in the stomach, guys. You're balancing with your core abdominal muscles, knees go down more, spine straighter, concentrate and breathe, left hand up first, right hand follows. Toe stand, reversing, please, out of the posture opposite of the way you went into it, step by step, guys. Don't just crash land if you need to kick your foot off. Do that to come up safely, and then everybody relax your left foot down. Please bring your towel to the front of your mat and drink some water if you need it. Relax on your back, your head to the mirror, heels to the wall, and heels touch, toes fall open, palms face the ceiling, let everything go, relax, relax, and breathe deeply. So we're 10 seconds into the one minute rest here, guys, so don't waste any more time. Get on your back, relax completely, eyes open, heels touching, toes fall open, palms face up. Calm, slow breath. Be as still as possible, which means let go of all the urges that you're feeling to wipe, to scratch, to fix your clothing or your hair. Everything is fine just the way it is. So accept that and breathe, relax, let go.
freedom of toss, so the wind removing pose is next. Bend your right knee up, interlace the fingers over your leg, below your knee, pull the knee out to your right side so you will avoid your rib cage. Keep your chin tucked and your neck flat, and then bring that knee back into your shoulder, your armpit, left shoulder down, elbows in close with your hips, and then freeze there. Chin tucked, neck flat, you should feel compression, maybe a little pinching or pain sensation in the hip joint, feet relaxed. Deep breath. Change. Relax your right leg down. Bend your left knee up. Interlace your fingers over your leg below the knee. Pull the knee into your shoulder again, avoiding the ribs, and keep your chin tucked and your neck flat. Both of your shoulders on the floor. Elbows in close to your hips and your eyes again looking right down the center line of your body. Calm, slow, deep breath. Chin tucked, neck flat. Deep breath and freeze. Just breathe. Change. Relax your legs and your arms down. Bend the both knees now. Wrap your arms over top of your legs. Grab your elbows each other. If you're unable to reach your elbows, very normal. Just grab what you can as close to the elbows as possible. Each time, reach for your elbows. One day they'll be there. Terry, you can grab your forearms and your wrists, yeah? Chin tuck. Neck flat. Deep breath. Let your feet relax. Toes relax. Hips relax. Neck relax. Everything pretty much relax except for your arm biceps and your fingers gripping those arms. Relax your legs, relax your arms, be still. Right back to Savasana, dead body guys. Relax and let go, breathe. Stillness, focus, concentration, nothing moving. Second set, bend the right knee up, interlace fingers again over the leg, below the knee, pull the knee into your shoulder, avoid the ribs, keep your chin tucked and your neck flat, both of your shoulders on the floor. Elbows in close, eyes looking right down the center line, chin tucked, neck flat, deep breath, freeze, let your feet relax, left shoulder down, a couple of you need to roll more to your left side, elbows in, deep breath, freeze, change, relax, relax. Right leg down, left leg up, interlace fingers over the leg below the knee again, pull the leg out to your left side, avoiding your ribs, into the shoulder, chin tuck, neck flat, deep breath, and then be still once you're in that posture. Freeze. Or some of you again, right shoulder down. Both your elbows should be about the same distance from the floor and in close to your hips as possible. Chin tuck, neck flat, eyes look down, freeze here, breathe deeply. Change. Both legs together. Wrap your other arm on top, so alternate the grip you had in the first set, and grab your elbows or as close as possible, chin tuck, neck flat, deep breath, and freeze again. Neck on the floor, eyes looking down between your knees, just the best you can do, guys. Never worry about what you're not able to do. Deep breath, create that internal massage, and freeze. Change, legs down, arms down, heels together, toes fall open, your palms are facing up. Relax and be still. Next thing we do is a sit up. Feet together, arms over your head, cross your thumbs, flex your feet, inhale, sit up. One motion all the way down, grab your feet, forehead to your knees, bend your elbows down. And turn around please, facing the front mirror. Slide on your stomach, face the front, chin forward. Palms flat, position underneath your shoulders, spine strengthening, cobra pose. Bhujangasana, place your palms under your shoulders, fingers line up at the tops of the shoulders, baby fingers no wider than your deltoids, hips and leg muscles contracted, keep the feet together, toes, heels touching, knees locked, inhale, look up, lift and peel your upper body in the air without using any of your arm strength, it's 100% spine strength, look up, eyes up, chest up, tuck your elbows in with your hips, feet together, heels together guys, knees together, look up, chest up, lift up, come up, change, bring your chin down, arms down, side looking right, Left ear on the towel. Let your toes touch and let your heels fall open. Just relax. Be still. Breathe deeply. Nothing moving but your breath. Conscious, mindful, present, focused. Second set. Bring the chin forward. Hands again under the shoulders. Fingers line up top of the shoulders. Baby fingers with the deltoids. Hips and leg muscles contracted. Feet together. Knees locked. Toes pointed. Inhale. Look up. Slowly come up with control. One vertebra at a time, all the way to your belly button if you can. Shoulders down, keep your feet on the floor. Toes touching, heels touching, knees touching, chest up. Shoulders down, tuck your elbows in, palms flat, lift up, change. Bring your chin to the floor. Arms down, side looking left, right ear on the towel, toes together, heels relax, and keep your eyes open. Calm, slow, deep breath. You guys are doing great today. 
Solid box in the locust pose. Chin forward on the floor. Flip your palms. Lift your hips up. Bring your straight arms underneath your body, elbows as close as you can get them. Never force. Palms flat on the floor, baby fingers touching if you can, elbows even better. Relax your left leg, lock your right knee, bring your chin all the way forward. Inhale, right leg only, stretch back, lift up. No help from the left leg, right leg stretch back, lift up, lift up, lift up, 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 up to the ceiling, change. Relax the right leg. Keep the knees locked out, guys, and then lock your left knee, point your toes, inhale, left leg, stretch back, lift up. Right leg relaxed, left leg stretch back, knee locked. I see a lot of knees bending, guys. Your left knee should be locked out, straight leg from your hip through your toes change. Mouth now on the floor, tuck your chin, readjust the hands, palms. Means bring your elbows closer. You can spread out your fingers to grip the floor. Also make sure your palms are on the floor. Lock your both knees and lift both legs together. Both legs lift up, both together. Keep your mouth down. Lock your knees and lift. Come on, watch a lift, lift, lift up. Both legs together, guys. Shoulders down, legs up, thighs up. Lift up, hips up if you can. Lift, change. Legs down, arms out, look right, left ear on the towel. Toes together, heels relax, and keep your eyes open and breathing as slowly, as calmly, as deeply as you can, relaxing and letting go. Conscious, mindful, present, second step, bring the chin forward. Flip those palms over, lift your hips up, guys. Don't hesitate, just get into the pose. It'll be over quicker if you get into it quicker. Lock your right knee, inhale, right leg, stretch it back, lift it up. Knee lock, toes pointed, stretch it, lift it, lock it. Don't let it come down, don't bounce, lift. Lift, lift more at the end, lift higher, change, relax. Relax the right side, lock your left, inhale, left, let go, stretch it, lift it, lift it some more, and lift it even more. Keep the chin forward, chin forward, neck flat, guys, chin forward, knee lock, stretch, lift, change. Mouth now, on the towel, tuck your chin, readjust the hands, palms, elbows closer, fingers stretched down, spread out, grip the floor, lock your knees, and lift, both legs up. Both together, guys. Shoulders down, stomach in. Lock your knees. A lot of knees bending. Lock your knees. Quads engaged. Point the toes. Doesn't matter how high your legs come up. Just knees locked. Lift up. Lift up. Change. Relax down. Arms out. Now looking to the left side. Right here on the towel. Toes together. Heels relaxing. Keep your eyes open. And make sure you're breathing, guys. Consciously, mindfully, present and focused. Be still and relax completely. Chin forward. Point of celibacy, full locust pose. Stretch your arms all the way out to your sides like you have wings. Palms flat, feet together, knees locked, toes pointed. Inhale, look up, lift. Everything up in the air, arms, body, head, legs, everything lift up. 747 taking off. Jessica Schieber, don't bring your arms back so much. There you are. Now arms up, arms up in line with the top of your head, then arms back. Keep the feet together, Lily. Feet together, guys. Knees together, look up, chest up, lift up, change. Relax your body down. Arms down, side looking right, left ear on the towel, toes together. Heels relax. Keep your eyes open. Calm and slow deep breath. Focus on the breathing, guys. Stillness in between. Letting everything go in between the postures so your body recovers very quickly. Sometimes your mind maybe not so much. Just focus on the breathing and letting go. Chin forward. Second set. Arms out. Palms flat. Fingers together. Feet together. Knees locked. Toes pointed. Inhale. Look up. Lift. Everything up in the air. Arms up. Arms back. Legs up. Keep your fingers together, feet together, chest up, look up, lift up, exhale, lift even more, and change, relax your body down, arms down, side, looking left. So right here, this time on the towel, toes, touch, heels, relax, keeping your eyes open, and the breath nice and calm and slow, deep, relaxing breath, stillness, focus, concentration, meditation. Down your asana. Bow pulling pose, bring your chin forward, bend the both knees up, grab your feet from the outside, all five fingers together. Hands are like little hooks, right around your toes, guys. Up by the toes, not the ankles, this one. And then baby fingers touch and crease the toes, wrist straight, shoulders relaxed. Inhale, look up, kick up into your hands. Roll forward, soft part of your belly. Look up and kick up. Continuously keep kicking. Don't stop kicking. So now, Allison, kick up and breathe. Just kick up and then let your knees come a little bit closer. Look up, kick up. Six inches, guys. Knees and feet. Six inch gap. No more, no less. Make sure your toes are not touching. Knees are not wide apart. Six inches toes. Six inches knees. Kick more. Kick up. Kick up. Change. Relax your body down gently, guys. Arms down side. Toes back together, touch, palms face up, left ear on the towel, looking right, looking right. Calm, slow breath, guys. Be still, relax completely, breathe deeply.
Second set, bring your chin forward, bend the knees, grab your feet again from the outside, all the five fingers like a hook, up by your toes, wrists straight, shoulders relax. Your wrists will straighten out when you kick, guys, but try to get them as straight as you can so you're not grabbing with your wrists or your palms as much as your fingertips. Inhale, look up, kick into your hands, roll forward. 20 second posture, guys, look up and kick up, your five seconds in, keep rolling forward, soft part of your belly. Toes come up over the center from the side and from the side you'll look like a teardrop. Keep kicking up, looking up. Try not to rock. Roll forward, stay there. Kick back, kick up, look up, kick more. Keep kicking. Don't give up. Almost done. Turn it on. Kick, 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 change. Relax your body down. Arms down side looking left. Right here on the towel. Toes touch. Heels relax and keep your eyes open. Palms are facing up. Completely relaxed, being still. That's our spine strengthening series. Chin forward on the floor, hands under your shoulders. Go ahead and push up. Come up to the front or middle of your mat for the next four postures. We're going to do another little segment of postures together. I don't really like to call it a flow because we do stop in between. So knees together, feet apart, hips on the floor between your heels, fix firm pose. Bring your hands to your feet, thumbs on the inside, fingers on the outside. Drop your head back, look back, go back. Slowly right elbow down, left elbow down. Open your feet wider than your hips. Your feet wider than your hips. And then top of the head touch, shoulders back of the neck. If you can, tear your sitting on your heels too. Try to get your heels out from underneath your butt. So your butt's on the floor, guys. And then tuck your chin dust and look down the center line, guys. Pull the elbows down, pull back if you're all the way down. If your head is, if your elbows are, if you're on your elbows, then your head stays back. Neck relax. Um, Jessica, tuck your chin, look towards the, the mirror so the neck is flatter that way. Pull the elbows down, pull back, knees closer when you can. Change and come up slowly. Use your elbows, let your head relax as you come up, guys. And then knees together, feet together, half tortoise pose, arms up over your head side. Palms together, touch, cross your thumbs only. Stretch up, stomach in, straight spine, bend forward with a flat back. Lead with your chest, keep your arms back, straight spine, touch your forehead on the floor. Baby fingers only touching, no wrists or elbows resting here, just stretching through the shoulders, stretching through the hips. So your entire spine again, stretching opposite directions. So palms flat together, thumbs are crossed, elbows and wrists up in the air, shoulders opening, stretching, hips opening, stretching, chin forward, bring your chin forward and change. Inhale, come up with a straight spine, flat back, abs tight, arms down stand up on your knees for camel right where you are guys knees six inches feet six inches toes point straight back hands on your hips thumbs on the outside fingers pointing down drop your head back look back go back halfway stop breathe hips stomach thighs forward if you're ready to go further right hand right heel Left hand, left heel. Look all the way back, 360 degree backward bending with gravity helping out here. Chest up, hips forward, eyes open, calm breath, and then change. Support your lower spine as you come up. Knees together, feet together, rabbit pose, Sasangasana. Give yourself enough room to wrap the towel over your heels. Dry grip on your heels. Tuck your chin to your chest. Suck your stomach in. Round in. Curl in. Bring your forehead to your knees. Top of your head will automatically then touch the floor. Lift your hips up. Don't move your head, don't turn your neck. Walk your knees up to your forehead, right knee forward, left knee forward, hips up, hips up, hips up. Lift your hips up and then regroup the heels if you need to. Shoulders lift up away from your ears, up toward the ceiling. Keep your stomach sucked in. Now bring your heels back together, touching if you can. Change, relax your hips down. Your head comes up and quickly turn around, relax on your back. Eyes open, heels touch, and toes fall open, your palms face up, letting everything go, relax, and be still, just breathe deeply. Eyes open, calm breath, be as still as you can. Feet together, arms over your head, cross your thumbs, flex your feet, inhale, sit up, exhale, hands to your feet, forward your knees, bend your elbows down, turn around. Come back to about the middle of your mat, knees together, feet apart, hips on the floor, second set of fixed firm pose, hands on your feet, thumbs inside, fingers inside, thumbs on the inside, fingers on the outside, drop your head back, look back, go back, right elbow down, left elbow down, top of the head if you can, shoulders back, go next, if you're all the way down, bring your other arm on top, so alternate the grip, pulling elbows down and back, chest and abdomen lifting up, eyes looking down, guys, if you're holding yourself up, then your head is back, 
chest lifts up wherever you are, and if your knees are comfortable, bring your knees closer until they touch again. Change, come up slowly, keep your head back. Use your elbows, use your hands, your head comes up last, and then knees together, feet together, arms overhead sideways, flat palms, cross your other thumb on top, stretch up, stomach in, straight spine, bend forward, flat back. Lead with your chest, keep the chin forward, eyes open, palms together, thumbs crossed, shoulders opening, stretching forward, hips opening, stretching back, total spine stretching in opposite directions. So Terry, come all the way forward, let your hips come up, come forward, just keep sliding forward till your forehead's touching the floor, keep going, keep going, thumbs crossed, keep going, keep going, now bring your chin away from your chest, chin forward, chin forward, and now keep the head on the floor, start to ease the hips gently back. Yes. Inhale and change. Come up with a straight spine. Flat back. Abs tight. Arms down. Stand up on your knees right where you are, guys. Eight to ten inch gap between the knees. Still six inches toes. Hands on hips. Thumbs on outside. Thumbs on outside. Fingers pointing down. Drop your head back. Look back. Go back. Halfway stop. Right hand, right heel. Left hand, left heel. Thumbs on the outside. Push the hips forward, lift your chest up, keep your eyes open, make sure that you are breathing consciously. Hips forward, chest up, head back, look back, go back, way back, change, supporting your back as you come up. Knees and feet back together, rabbit pose, sats and gats, and a towel goes over your heels. Dry grip is very important on your heels, guys. Tuck your chin, stomach in, round in, curl in. Put your forehead on your knees, and then lift your hips up. Don't move your head. Once you touch your head on the floor, your head stays right where it is. Lift your hips all the way up till your elbows lock out. And then walk your knees forward, right knee forward, left knee forward, hips up, hips up, hips up, shoulders up away from your ears. Keep your stomach sucked in, and then again, see if you can bring your heels back together. Eventually, you want to keep the heels together throughout the posture. Change. Lower your hips down. Your head comes up slowly, and then quickly turn around again. Relax on your back. Eyes open, heels touch, toes fall open, the palms are facing up. Let everything go. Relax. Be still. Breathe deeply. Eyes are open. Calm, slow breath. Focus and relax. We have just three more things to do, guys. So we're going to do one set of each of them. Feet together, arms up. Cross your thumbs. Flex your feet. Inhale. Sit up. Exhale. Hands to your feet. Forward your knees. Bend your elbows down. Swing your legs around to the front of the room for head to knee with stretching. Right leg extend to the right. Left leg bend in. Right leg out, left leg in, guys. Left foot flush against your inner right thigh, heel close to the groin, bring your arms up overhead side, interlace the fingers, stretch up, turn right, round over your right thigh, grab your right foot, please, all ten fingers, interlace position to the webbing, underneath your toes, tuck your chin to your chest, put your forehead on your knee, push the knee down with the help of your forehead, flex your foot back in towards your face, so try to bring your thumbs underneath your toes as well, and then push the knee down, left shoulder down. Some of you may need to roll to your left a little bit, bend your elbows down, flex your foot back. If you can lock the knee, lift your heel, and if not, you're pushing the knee down, trying to eliminate any gap underneath your leg against the floor. Change, left leg now, stretch out, right leg bend in, turn left, round over your left thigh, grab your left foot. All 10 fingers interlace to the webbing beneath your toes, tuck your chin, round in, curl in, curl in, put your forehead on your knee. So really interlace, bend your knee more if you need to. Forehead touch your knee, guys, push the knee down, flex your foot back, keep your stomach sucked in, right shoulder down, roll to your right if you need to, bend your elbows in toward your calf, flexing your foot back in toward your face. Again, you should feel stretching in the Achilles tendon. Change, both feet now, straight out in front of you, lie all the way back. As soon as your thumbs touch the floor, inhale, sit up, grab your big toes, index fingers, middle fingers, thumbs, complete that grip, and walk your knees back, right and left, right and left. So index, middle fingers, both your hands, thumbs included, grab your big toes, and walk your hips back, right and left. Eyes up, chin forward, feet together, guys, knees together. Inhale, stretch, exhale, pull, keep your chest forward, shoulders back, spine straight. In other words, don't look down, look forward, inhale, stretch, exhale, pull. Pull if you can lock your knees, lift your heels, bend the elbows only if the knees are locked. Exhale, pull and pull. Change. We're going to do the spine twisting pose. Bend your left knee under your right leg. Left knee points toward the mirror. Right foot cross up over the left knee corner. Make sure that both of your buttocks are on the floor. You're not sitting on the heel. Left leg on the bottom. Right foot cross over the knee corner. Bring your heel all the way forward to touch the knee corner. Right hip down and right hand on the floor behind your spine, left arm lift up over the right knee corner, push the knee back with your elbow, turn your wrist and grab your left knee with your left hand, chin over your right shoulder, inhale, stretch up, 
exhale, turn and twist. So bring your uh, left elbow open this way and turn the wrist, grab your knee. Look over your right shoulder, stretch up, exhale, twist, stretch up, twist, exhale, twist, change. Switch it to the other side, right leg's on the bottom, left foot cross over the right knee corner. Again, both your buttocks on the floor, switch your legs. So left hand behind you, right arm up over the left knee corner, push the knee back with your elbow, turn the wrist, grab your right knee with your right hand. So you keep the right elbow open. You know your legs are perfect. Just bring your elbow this way and turn the wrist, grab your lower knee, lower knee. Yeah. Chin over your left shoulder, spine straight, flat back, inhale, stretch up, exhale, turn and twist. Inhale, stretch up, exhale, turn and twist, grab the knee, point your toes to the back corner of the room, twist, stretch up, twist, exhale, twist, and change. Go ahead and turn around, guys, relax on your back, eyes open, heels touching, toes fall open, palms face up, we've got one more. Breathing exercise, couple body and Vajrasana, blowing in firm pose, helps you rid toxins, good for the waistline. Feet together, arms up, cross your thumbs, flex your feet, inhale, sit up. Exhale, hands to your feet, forehead to your knees, bend your elbows down. Please turn around and come back to the middle of your mat, knees together, feet together. You're sitting on the heels this time. Hands on the knees, elbows locked, shoulders relaxed. Take one breath, inhale, begin. <laughs> little faster. All right, turn around please. You can drink your water, you can close your eyes now. Separate your feet a little bit more, relax your arms where they're comfortable. Just take a moment and relax. Let go, breathe deeply. Thank yourself for making it to class this evening, for working hard. You guys did a great job tonight. Calm and slowly breath. Let everything go relax. Only about half as many as last Monday night. Just the holiday kept people away today. We were just class this morning, though. Thanks for being here. Set your intention to come back soon and do it again. The more you practice, the better you feel. The more quickly you heal your body. Relax your mind, set your spirit free. Make sure you drink lots of water throughout the, e the evening tonight and through the day tomorrow. Stay hydrated. If you have any questions at all, please come and check with me afterwards. If you rented a mat, leave it on the floor. If you have one of our towels or more, they go in the hampers in the change rooms. Please remember your things and take them with you. Have a great evening. When you choose to rise, you will feel refreshed, relaxed, rejuvenated, re-energized, reorganized, revitalized. Namaste. Thank <laughs> you.